I have been slaving away tirelessly with this deck, trying to get to Ultimate Champion. And what is the one deck that I keep losing to? Goblin Drill. And guess what? Not only do I just lose to normal Goblin Drill, now Supercell have decided it's a brilliant idea to bring out Goblin Drill Evolution. So I thought, let's just take a look at this card and see exactly how it works and see why it's completely 100% balanced. So, oh, there's a Goblin Drill. Let me play a Knight on it. Oh, never mind. The Goblin Drill's gone. Oh, wait, it's next to my tower now. Oh, let me kill that. Oh, no, never mind. It's behind my tower. So one of the best win conditions just got better. And so I'm a man on a mission who's trying to get out of this league, get into League 7, and let's just try and win three games in a row and hopefully beat some drill players whilst we're at it. But I thought, hey, let's do a story time today because I haven't done one of those in a while and you guys seem to like it. So yesterday I was at a football stadium and at halftime, I decided that it was a good time for me to go pee because I needed the pee, right? And so I was just there scrambling around the edges of the stadium, trying to find something that resembled a toilet. And then just about... Just as I went around the whole thing, I realized that there was nothing that really looked like a toilet, but I kept seeing these little deep, dark corridors that would cave into the side of the stadium, like around the edges of the stadium, like a spoon around the skin of an avocado when you're trying to scoop out the meat, that type of vibe, right? And so I decided to go down one of these deep, dark, damp corridors. And what do I find but a deep, dark, damp place to urinate at the end of it? And so I'm pretty happy now. I'm like, yes, I can finally pee. But then I realized that I never actually found any... Wait, stop. We're going to play the Little Prince here. We have to kind of drag everything across because I'll just die otherwise. We... I'm going to log that. It stays alive somehow. And we survive. Okay, Executioner should not get another shot. We're in the game. That could have been way worse. We're still in the game. So yeah, I find the bathrooms. And then I'm thinking to myself... Crap, I did not see any signage outside the bathroom to indicate as to whether or not I'm allowed in here, right? This could be the coach's bathroom. This could be like, what is he doing? This could be the coach's only bathroom or like the player's bathroom. Are you serious? Ryoma, what are you What are you doing, little bro? Uh, I guess we'll just poison there. Thanks. Sure. So it could be the coach's bathroom, could be the player's bathroom, or worst of all, it could be the women's bathroom, right? But I'm thinking, using my deductive reasoning skills, there's no way that this is the women's bathroom because I've heard mystic legends about how clean women's bathrooms are and how they only smell like roses and not like diarrhea, right? And believe it or not, this place that I was at, this old ass stadium, definitely did not smell like roses. In fact, it smelled like piss and shit. And uh, it, there was piss and shit all over the floors. So it had to be the men's bathroom, right? And anyway, I go in for my piss. Um, and it's great. I give myself a pat on the back just because of how awesome that was. Wait, let's just defend here real quick before I keep yapping. Um, the prince is gonna die. We can just play the knight on this wizard and we're all good. Wow, poison as well to take care of that minion horde. Wow, he is struggling and we win. Nice. So anyway, proud of my deductive reasoning skills and also my amazing ability to urinate. I then leave the bathroom and I don't even wash my hands because this place was so gross that my pee pee was literally cleaner than the sink itself. That's how gross it was. And no, that's not to say that my pee pee is gross. I mean, uh, either way, you get the point, right? Washing my hands would have been worse than not washing my hands. We get a bunch of damage there. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, we can start cycling our skeletons and knights and stuff to get to the evolutions faster. I really wasn't paying attention. He's got firecracker and Valkyrie. That's really all I remember. And the monk? Okay. Maybe RG? Let's just play... How do you get that damage on my... Oh, he's got mortar, right. Okay. That's good to know. He keeps playing it right at the bridge, though. Kind of a um, strange maneuver by him. I don't know what to do here. If I play my little prince, the monk will just deflect. No, please don't deflect. Okay, he doesn't. We can play the little prince here and kill that mortar and then the Ewiz should die. And we're all good. Okay, it's fine. And we've cycled to the night evolution. I'll probably just go for a minor on the tower now. But basically, as I'm leaving, I turn around this corner. Whilst I'm turning around this corner, two girls come also turning around this corner and then scream. I What? How is all my tower, dude? Okay, well, at least the Tesla is on the mortar. That knight should take care of that one goblin. And we play a little prince up high to kill that firecracker. At least distract it from hitting my knight. The monk is probably going to deflect here, which uh, is not the worst thing ever, actually. And then let's just go for this on the other lane, just because 
he's he spent a lot of elixir and hopefully it can just stress him out that little bit extra um he plays the log okay i'm thinking maybe i go for the little prince with the ability here put more pressure on him and then we're gonna go for the log and then go for the miner in the front of the tower okay we catch everything the arrows don't kill the little prince we're on the tower the valkyrie's gonna suck it and kill the little prince that was like perfect situation to have a valkyrie there i keep going for the really aggressive teslas and it hasn't really been working so i don't know why i keep doing it but this time it works so i kind of get away with it i spirit up high to pull that valkyrie across god i become an espn commentator it seems and so yeah i scare the absolute living shit out of these girls and then they look at me funny as they're like as they then follow into that bathroom that i was just in and i'm like oh my god are you kidding me so I walk around to the other side of the stadium and I see that the other deep dark corridor leads to a men's bathroom. So I'm not sure if it's my fault necessarily, but I did just kind of break in illegally <laughs> into, a, into a women's bathroom. So I might have committed some crimes there, but it's not my fault. All right. That's what happens when you don't have signs on the doors. Like the sign fell off in the women's side. That's what happened. Uh, I'm not a creep. At least I... I don't think I am. Let's play the log here because I don't think he's going to pop the monk ability before it crosses the bridge. Ewis stays alive. That is really annoying. Okay, we'll play the skeletons around here and then let's just play the miner to be safe. We don't want to take too much damage here. Okay, and let's just chill. Reset. Fuck. Stop. I said chill. How is that on my tower? Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. I'm actually so... This is so dumb. This is actually so stupid. That's gonna kill me. So anyway, the mystique of a women's bathroom has now been ruined for me. And I'm upset. All right, I'm pretty upset about that. Something else that I'm upset about, which is kind of a good segue, I guess, is the fact that... By the way, I'm so desperate to get out of this league that that loss actually just really pissed me off. At least the Lil Prince is on tower. Hopefully that hog dies pretty soon. We'll play the log here as well. Kill that knight. Hopefully that firecracker only gets one shot. I hoped it would get zero, but one is better than two, I guess. God, this game has just been, uh, it's not been it, man. I think that there has been a, like, a decrease in players in this game just because of how bad the updates have been. The Goblin Drill Evolution has just been the stinkiest thing they've ever dropped. Genuinely, don't know what's going on inside their brains. It's like... It's like... It's just literally the OH NO! What am I doing, dude? It's like, I'm just... Okay, relax. This is so winnable still. We're still... We're only down 800 damage, okay? We're fine. This is okay. It's gonna be a tough matchup, but I believe I can win because I really don't want to play more games than I have to. Let's activate King here at the very least. Nice, we can do one thing right. Guess what? He's gonna go for his firecracker. So what we're gonna do is go for the skeletons. They're all gonna die. So the firecracker was almost about to get onto my tower again. Had to play the ice spirit there. It's gonna do wonders for me though. And then, I can't even, uh, you know what? No, I was about to go for it, but that would have been dumb. We'll play the little prince here. And then let's just play the knight as well. And with, okay, I shouldn't have to play anything else. This should be all good. Let's just, I don't know if he's back. No, he's definitely not. You know what? We're going to push into the same lane just because I'm annoyed. <laughs> and I think that we need to do something to just make a change. That Royal Delivery, please don't kill my little prince. It's going to die to that E-Spirit though. Dude, I don't know what to do against this. We can just ignore that Firecracker. Uh, I'll play a Tesla down low. He's got Earthquake, doesn't he? So we're fine. We're fine. He's not back to a Firecracker yet, so I don't have to be concerned about that. Let's just play... The miner there. Hopefully the knight tanks for it. Nice. We can play the poison on that knight. This is how we're going to win. We're just going to have to slowly try and take as little damage as possible whilst just slowly miner poisoning his towers. Play the Tesla up high. Play the ice bear on that firecracker, hopefully. Nice. It actually jumped where I wanted it to. Wow. Finally, something goes my way. Okay, you know what? It's time to go for the little prince aggressive with the ability here. And then we're going to go for the miner as well. Play the play the poison as well. Hopefully kill any skeletons he decides to play. Lil Prince is on the tower. Wait. Get some damage. Okay, that's fine. That's good. That's good. We're back in the game. We can make this work. Let's go for the Tesla up high. I'm going to protect it with the ice spirit so that the firecracker doesn't shoot it. Please don't. Okay. Lil Prince is going to have to save me here. I swear to God, if that knight walks far back enough that the firecracker splashes, it doesn't. We can play the poison here. Dude, if I win this game, I'm actually the most cut, the most clutch player of all time. 
it's nice to get words out sometimes. Believe it or not, we're gonna play the- we're just gonna com completely cycle poisons at this point, like, I don't care. As toxic as- as it is, I'm really sick of playing against, um, Hog Cycle. NGL. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go silent here for a second. Just... No, that firecracker's gonna splash! It's fine. The- OH NO! The- Okay, we have to go all in now. We have no other option. It's all in. Um, Miner. It's getting some damage, that t You know what? Today did not go to plan, but I am more determined than ever to get to Ultimate Champion this season. I will not quit until I get there, and I will not do anything else on this channel until I get to Ultimate Champion. And so I want you guys to join the journey. We only have a couple more leagues until we get there, and I will do whatever it takes to finally be there and conquer this game. I'm so sick of losing, and I'm gonna put my blood, sweat, and tears into this. And so come back tomorrow, and I promise you we'll win some games. And we'll do it with some goofy storytelling in the background! Anyway, click here if you want to see another video. Like, comment for the algorithm, subscribe.